the next session is all about strength, but it's about strengthening national movements. The, the good book says that God's strength is made perfect in weakness, and it's amazing that he uses us to do his work. The way this session is going to work is that we're going to have a presentation first from Augustine, Augustine Lutakwa, who is our AEO for Sub-Saharan Africa and also a member of the senior team. And Augustine's going to talk to us about the principles of strengthening national movements, which is one of our big aims within ICMDA. And then after that, we're going to have a small group interactive session where we start to think about how we can strengthen the national movements in particular areas. Uh, more on that later. But I'm going to hand over now to you, Augustine. Are you all set and ready to go? Yes. So uh, initially, I had I had prepared the hundred slides, but I I thought I might just have to cut them down. So I managed to to drop them to fifty. But then the time uh, comes dilemma. So I will try and squeeze through them. So please, if if you see me rushing through them. Uh, don't worry, you'll have the slide at, at the end, uh, strengthening national organization. As I had said earlier, I'm in, in, uh, in uh, Madagascar, where I have been for the past six weeks. My, one of my, the aim that I've, I've heard here, or I'll try to achieve is to strengthen the local national organization, which since its inception or since its join um, in ICMD8 has not shown any any signs of life. So I uh, like So speaking of the national organization of strengthening the national organization, the aim is is basically, as as we know, um, the Bible says how the early church did it. The church how did it? it did uh, through the Judea, Samaria, enjoy time of peace. It was strengthened and encouraged by the Holy Spirit as it grows in numbers, as we can see the early church doing the same principle. Um, and on our side, we know the ICMDA mission and vision, um, and we're not gonna repeat that because we know it very well, which is to start and strengthen the national organization. And, um, and we've been through that earlier. So how do we start a national organization? Briefly, we have these steps, identify key leaders, foresight uh, relationship, engage in particular ministry activity, provide, facilitate, just as the word is highlighted here, yeah, and ensure prioritize prayer and ensure registration of ICMDA. So I was using the bubble then, but you will see when I use now the um, ICMDA um, uh, language. Prospective members will be will need to be a national recognized Christian and usually only one um, uh, one organization per country, but sometimes there are two and the criteria are listed in a log in a ICMD manual. The requirement is to accept the ICMD mission and vision and to be a health professional qualified uh, by national licensing body. Uh, and the denominational in character and practice, and of course, uh, have to pay their subscription. So what is the ICMDA or CMDA, depending on which country you are or how you decided to name your organization? The national member of organization are part of the global church, the global body, charged with being Jesus Christ witnesses and making disciples. And of course, living a holy and godly life until he returns. And we have the reference there. Um, so what do we do? We prepare God's people for service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all become mature and attaining to the whole measure of Christ's fullness. And the creature is there to quote a few of them. So what makes us a distinct organization or, or different? Because there are a lot of organizations out there. We're not a church and we're not a medical association, but we are specialist area of Christian activities in the world of medicine and dentistry. So our aim should be to encourage and equip Christian doctors and medical students to live and serve Jesus. What am I saying is to become witness workplace and we have heard earlier 
all the tools that we are being taught and given uh, just to be effective in our ministry. So our aim is definitely not to multiply what the church can give us, but rather what we aiming to do and equip ourselves. So what do we mean by being a Christian? We mean evangelical or interdenominational. You will say to me, what is evangelical? It has to be a biblical, uh, biblicism, the supremacy authority of the Bible. You've seen me quoting them now. Uh, Christocentrism, the centrality and atonement of, of work of Christ on the cross. And conversion is ultimately the life must be changed. And of course, we not forgot our activism, the notion of saving, unless this we express uh, in our action, it's, it's in vain. It's interdenominational. Uh, we have a lot of people calling themselves different denominations, which there is nothing wrong with that. But we are interdenominational, bringing class from different denominations and united on essentials but also agreeing to disagree on what are secondary issues. You will ask yourself, what are those secondary issues? Uh, baptism is one of them, the Lord's Supper, role of women, eschatology, ecclesiastology, place of Israel, or worship style. Whether you, you put your hands up or you, you kneel down or lay down as you pray, uh, it doesn't matter, those are all secondary issues. And one can continue that list of secondary issues. Now, what are some of the issues that we encountered in, uh, in ICMDA work or in organizations? They sometimes difficulty, there is no um, committee uh, that exists or, or the whole ministry is centered towards individuals or a group of people. And as soon as they leave or they move around, the organization disappear. Or sometimes it's a committee form of experts who were in, a, in a, that particular country for a limited time, as soon as they leave, um, there is no succession plan and the local or the organization disappear. Or more often, their meet, meetings are very rare, like where I am now, they hardly meet. And when you hardly meet, uh, chances are you are no longer exist as a committee. Uh, national body with no integration of generations. Uh, so you can see, uh, students active group very senior probably close to retirement very active but in between you have a, a black hole sorry i spell the wrong the whole uh, black hole that we refer to or limited mentorship uh, competing engagement with members a lot of doctors are committed in many things and that does not give them a time to engage with with the ministry and of course We've noticed the limited engagement of ICMDA and ICMDA activities, which are supposed to check the pulse of every country. So, so there are a lot of issues, and I don't want to bore you with all of them, but you can see this is continuation of other issues that we have identified. Uh, no, um, and you'll, you'll, you'll have access to this PowerPoint and you can see for yourselves. So the key to succeed is if you get the student right and the literature right, the rest will follow, as once said uh, Douglas Johnson. And, and the two, which Peter always say, uh, Christian medical group are best grown from bottom up. So integrate students into your movement. How do we strengthen national organization? We raise up, uh, pray code to raise up workers, to identify key individual, encourage them together, instill the vision of the national movement, and ensure that they have the ICMDA um, hands as they work together. So where does it start? It starts with the prayer. Uh, remember, it's not about us as individuals, but it's about him. We just happen to be uh, used by him. And not we must not forget that it's about him. He, he invites us to do his job. His work, he brings people forth, and so pray for those people, enable them just as he did, and you to come um, to, to come to his work. His work goes on even when we are no longer there, 
And this is good to remember and remind ourselves that we're not the end of ICMDA or anything. So what are the priorities? Know your history, where, do we, where have we come from and where are we going? Clear aim. Uh, the organization must be uh, in very, very clear evangelism, discipleship, mission, and being a voice for the voiceless. We've heard earlier on a lot of work being done for those who are hard to reach um, uh, in service. Clear focus. We need to focus on Christian and medical intersection between medicine and, and Christianity. Um, and, and let's leave the other stuff to the church and the theologian to debate about. Biblical value, especially when it comes to ethical and vocational. And of course, we must be honest in our strategic plan. Put up a robust structure. We've spoken about that, how if there is no structure, things will fall apart. I always make a joke uh, that the French people, they say, if you want to kill a a project set up a committee because everyone will pull in another direction. But this is a healthy committee and you have to put bylaws and protect that. And a lot of subcommittees, task force and succession plan and um, need to have elected leaders, as, as we might say, and meet regularly, face to face specifically. Uh, strategies, um, most of them avoid uh, once you have identified the pitfall, pitfall, identify them and address them uh, correctly. Um, we're going to move. Teaching people, uh, qualify future leaders, not what we should be looking for or what we should rather look for in people. Here, ICMDA, they lack fat people and uh, always say faithful, available, teachab teachable, not people who are, uh, know it all, but those that are servants. They have a growth potential. They have a big picture and mentality. And most of, most importantly, discipline. And um, so the Bible says we must believe in our leaders, encourage them, share with them, be ready to delegate more and spend time with those that you want. Another, princ other principle, establish support system. And emotional is one of them that has been very often neglected. And skills training, and of course, uh, if money is needed, invest some more. And be committed, serious, available to people. And very, very, very importantly, delegate. And how do we teach people? And I like the model. Some people tend to believe that uh, teaching or traditionally even medicine was used as a, as a jug, jug to mug model where the senior is believed to have the knowledge and the empty that knowledge into the cap. Uh, the cap is probably a mentee. But here we're talking about the mentorship a monitoring model where we go with Jesus model, the discussion around people, the issue, uh, engage people rather than tell them or spoon feed them. A regular meeting, training track, conferences, weekend summer camp, and all of these, but have these type of things. And Identify key issues that you need to discuss. And if you are unable, please visit the website, the ICMD website, find what people, what are the issues that have been under discussion in a while, and also walk, watch some videos or attend those type of things. They will help you. So when confrontation with a few organization, there is a confrontation, breakaway, people neglect and they disappear and the organization goes with them. Separate people from the wrong actions, confront only the person um, and all of that stuff. There is an approach to that, which we believe we can, can learn from. Character and credibility, um, we know um, the influences and the legacy you live is the life you lead. So let us lead or leave what we say. Money matters, financial arrangement structures. We have seen uh, uh, issues with financial financing that how organization fail. And if necessary, get an employed staff and, and as more staff paid up, you have, you can literally build on that. Uh, so uh, as, as I was saying, get volunteer as paid staff, and I'm glad Peter is working on that in the ICMDA to increase the staff 
and the field workers, because that's where the, the bulk of work will be done. Communicate frequently. Um, I'm yet to learn myself how to communicate properly. I've seen uh, Peter doing it effectively with the newsletters and the ministries. And I think that's very helpful, but also communicate to the people and let them know what to do. And, what. and these days, I think there is no excuse for not communicate because it's no longer a postal address that the letter will take a few weeks. Activities, we have said, arrange conferences, invite graduates, uh, must be students and opportunity for them to learn. Uh, your view, this, is, this will probably summarize what, what it is. Your view affect your actions. And as, as you can see, the child having a view at the at breast and affect his action. And the more we are exposed, we broaden our views to other ideas, other environments, at any conferences, world congresses, the more broad our actions will become. And the team to be discussed are they, you can gather them. But also network of like-minded people and uh, without forgetting the churches. One of the areas that I will emphasize in closing is the student ministry that need to be emphasized and fostered just because this is the organization, this is the future of the organization. If you forget this, chances are the organization will die on its own natural death. If your plan is for a year, plant rice. Uh, if it's for 100 years, educate kids, as Confucius has highlighted. So students have um, importance in organization and also they will benefit from our collaboration. Uh, idea for National Student Fellowship, we have suggested quite a few of them uh, and, um, and the activities and what to get involved and the role and how to guide them, we have uh, suggested a few of them. Um, relationship with ICMDA as a National Fellowship, it needs to be maintained and encouraged uh, in as much as we as ICMDA, we go around trying to foster or share the vision but we need to maintain that relationship. However, that relationship is not to take over the other organization, but it, it's basically to sub in a role of supporting them. And that's the engagement. So we engage with ICMDA. Um, well, we have spoken about the literature and, and Josh has mentioned quite a few um, and how to access them. Uh, here it's just to assess how your organization as a student grow and how the engagement is. You can do that. Uh, we were talking about assessing the national organization and the eng engagement. And this is what we use, the last three slides. ICM, the National Student uh, Assessment Tool, where we use a lover's cross. And that we use uh, these criteria to assess uh, how uh, engage those national organization are to us. And if any of these points are not uh, fulfilled, we're trying um, to reach out to them through the three various training programs that we have. And these are the leadership development, advocacy, volunteers, evangelism, resources, corporate governance, regional partnership, outreach, student ministry, as well as support. And you'll, you'll be happy to see that there are a lot of um, training tracks that have been developed to that effect, some formal, some informal, but ultimately uh, they lead to what we believe could fulfill those criteria that are on the left. And some are yet to be developed and some are still here to improve. You heard from Santosh that um, you welcome to suggest uh, your training needs or to adapt in conjunction of course with ICMDA to a particular region. Um, and the methodology is to identify, this is the methodology now for us to assess those. We identify a national organization of core strength in each of those areas. Uh, you explore option of those organizations, sharing the experiences in the region. You promote existing courses with ICMDA national organization, encourage the leaders to join the existing program or come up with some of the training program that you might do. So you can do it. Uh, the Lord has told you these things so that you may have peace. In this world, you have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. 
he has overcome this. Once again, a reminder in this life, it's not how you start that matters. It's rather how you finish. As Steve Ferrar uh, in, in his book, Finishing Strong, highlights it. We can start those national organizations, but to finish or to continue the growth is to keep supporting them and for them to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Otherwise, they will disappear. With those words, um, thank you, Peter, for the opportunity. Uh, as I said, we brush through them, but we'll give the opportunity to interact with the slide and, and the discussion. Looking forward to a fruitful discussion. Thank you. Thanks very much, Augustine. Well, um, that was an awful lot in a very short space of time. Very, very comprehensive. <clears throat> I know if you're new to ICMDA, you're probably feeling overwhelmed. If you've been around for a while, a lot of that will have been familiar to you. And uh, our, our hope is that you'll go back to, to um, Augustine's presentation and have a chance to look at it much more slowly and much more detail. And please do use that to develop your own resources as well.